Hello everyone. So in this video we are going through the male reproductive system. The male reproductive system. So here it is the testis which is present inside the scrotum. This one it is the penis. Penis contains the erectile tissues. The top portion of the penis it is known as glans penis. Some other structures related to male reproductive system. This one it is the seminal vesicle. Here one. It is the seminal vesicle. This gland it is known as prostate gland. The violet color structure you are seeing. This one it is the ejaculatory duct. And here it is the bulbo urethral gland. The vessel you are seeing it is known as vas deferens. Inside the testis, the structure of the testis we are seeing. So that is the testis in the cross section. The topmost and the side portion of the testis is occupied by the epididymis. This structure which is continued inside the abdominal or pelvic cavity that is the vas deferens. The testis is present inside the scrotal sac. Here do not confuse this coiled it structure it is known as seminiferous tubules and this all part it is known as epididymis now the seminiferous tubule the cut portion of the seminiferous tubule what it contains inside the seminiferous tubule you are seeing these are the sertoli cells the cells that are present near to the basal lamina these are known as spermatogonium and outside the, the structure of the seminiferous tubule, the cells, these are present, these are known as Leydig cells. Alright, so main two cells that are present inside the testis, one it is the Sertoli cell and another one it is the Leydig cells. So here we are seeing three different seminiferous tubules and the structures that are present in between the coiled structure of the seminiferous tubule. These are the interstitial space where the Leydig cells are present, blood vessel and fibroblast. Now the continuing with the functions of the Sertoli cells, most important for the viva. It gives support and nutrition to the developing spermatogonia. So here these are spermatogonia. It forms the blood testis barrier. So here you are seeing this one. It is the blood testis barrier that is formed by the Sertoli cells. So Sertoli cells forms the blood testis barrier. So what is the importance of this blood testis barrier? Toxic substances and byproducts cannot enter across the blood testis barrier so that the process of spermatogenesis will not be hampered by all these substances it maintains the luminal fluid so that the luminal fluid which is necessary for the providing the nutrition every material it cannot escape out of the uh, this seminiferous tubule no barrier for maturing germ cells and steroids so steroid hormones can cross easily via this blood testis barrier now what is the importance of sertoli cells it secretes MIF that is the Mullerian inhibitory factor, inhibin, estrogen, androgen binding protein or androgen binding globulin, transferrin and luminal fluid. So all these are the secretory functions of the Sertoli cells. And the most important thing is it forms the blood testis barrier. The viva question functions of Sertoli cells most important. Now here the one more important thing I have to tell that due to this blood testis barrier the sperms cannot enter inside the blood circulation. Even the sperms are antigenic to the male body. Now the functions of Leydig cells. It is the primary cells of the steroidogenesis. What is steroidogenesis? It is the production of the steroid hormones. It secretes the testosterone. Which cell secrete the testosterone? 
it is the ladic cell that secretes the hormone testosterone it having the receptors for the luteinizing hormone lh it is stimulated by the androgen and inhibited by the estrogen ladic cells are stimulated by the androgen and it is inhibited by the estrogen the ladic cell prominent activity is present in the 8 to 15 weeks of the intrauterine life and the activity of the ladic cell has been increased between the 3 to 5 months of the age and maximum activity of the ladic cell has been noted at the time of puberty all right so these are the functions of ladic cells now the functions of testis there are two main functions of the testis spermatogenesis and steroidogenesis now the male sexual act inside the male sexual act there are two process takes place first one erection of penis and it is regulated by the parasympathetic nervous system and the ejaculation emission of the semen ejaculation it is regulated by the sympathetic nervous system now the sterilization methods in the male it is the vasectomy in the process of vasectomy the vas deferens has been cut and tied so at the time of ejaculation the sperm cannot present inside the semen so it's a voluntary sterilization method and it is vasectomy